I was ready, they didn't have my back. They were petty, I stayed in my back. On that petty, I brought it right back. Like a vet. We stopped Jack Smith dead in his tracks. <laughs> These cases are falling apart in real time. They are collapsing. And a lot of y'all said, we voting for Trump even if he's convicted. Oh, we're going to ride in November, y'all. We're going to crack open a cold one. We're going to dance, slide. We're going to eat sweets and, 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 and food, barbecue, you name it. We got some for the vegans as well. And we don't care if you diabetic. We got cobbler pies, cookies, ice cream. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. We're going gonna, gonna to have a good time, y'all, November, baby. We're going to crack open a couple cold ones, man. I got the cooler ready. And y'all get you however many you want. Two, three, four, five, six. You know, we're going to have uh, uh, designated drivers already on the list. Because I know some of y'all going to be uh, 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 piss, piss, pissing your pants backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have a good time, baby. <laughs> but shout out to my brother William for sending this over. I, I got to check this out, man. He sent this uh, two days ago. You know, he's been showing so much love on the channel, kind donations, a lot of love in the emails, the, uh, the DMs, and a lot of you guys' hats are out for delivery as we speak um, today. So be on the lookout, check your mailboxes, your front porch, your P.O. box. A lot of you guys' hats are delivered, and we seen yesterday that uh, they got de uh, delivered yesterday as well, too. So make sure y'all check, man. Again, I know some of y'all live in those uh city and states where they be stealing and all kind of stuff they take your stuff right off your front porch yeah you get what you vote for huh let's check it out you guys make sure you drop a like comment down below and happy mother's day to all the beautiful mothers out there our grandmothers all our mothers man happy mother's day y'all let's jump straight in a delay uh but also we should note special counsel jack smith uh really has uh voiced some serious concerns, if not animus, uh, toward this judge. Yeah, absolutely. And there may come a time when he tries to get her removed from the case. But at this point, that's premature. What Jack Smith knows tonight, though, is that it's very possible that he may not be able to bring either one of his federal cases against former President Trump before the election. And the election is a significant point on the calendar, because if Trump is reelected, he can have Jack Smith and both of his cases dismissed. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. And that's what we want. Drink the coffee, Jack. Smell the coffee, then drink the coffee. It's too hot, isn't it, Jack? You burnt your tongue, didn't you, buddy? You burnt your tongue, didn't you, Jack? We told you not. We told you. You, you was you. You tried to sip it too early. <laughs> and now you done burnt your taste buds, buddy. Now, here, this, this case, the classified documents case, postponed indefinitely. But the other prosecution that Smith has brought, the January 6th case, also on ice while the Supreme Court contemplates if Trump has presidential immunity. Now, in the arguments a couple weeks ago, they signaled that they're not likely to toss that case out, but they might toss it back down to the trial court for more litigation, which, again, that's why it would make it impossible to bring before the November election. Obviously, we're here in Manhattan for this criminal case. The other one outstanding is the RICO case down in Georgia. But again, it goes back to the strategy of delay. By trying to have Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade removed from the case, they successfully likely pushed that until late in this year. And it's very difficult, again, if Trump is reelected, to put him on trial down there. So this long game that they've been playing to try to delay everything overall has been successful. The one case that is going forward is what was always considered kind of the runt of the litter, the, the least consequential. Later. This case now can't go to trial until mid to late 2025, and um, it won't go to trial if Trump is elected. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. It feel good, don't it, baby? It feel good. It, we stay see the we see the corruption, election interference, and we're hey hey. You reap what you sow. Coming back to bite them in the butt. Ah, to have a taste of your own medicine. Ah, <laughs> y'all wanna have kangaroo cord? Y'all wanna 
Y'all want to show how corrupt it is? Oh, we're going to shut it down. Go! Yeah. <laughs> I had to get that out. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. I love it. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for more liberal tears. Okay. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I got to tell you guys. MSDNC and the cackling hens at The View are probably having an existential crisis right now. They are pounding sand. Liberal tears are flowing, okay? As news has just come out, bombshell news. Federal judge, conservative judge, patriot, Ayeen Cannon has postponed indefinitely former President Donald Trump's federal trial in Florida dealing with the classified documents okay this is just one of two jack smith cases against trump one having to do with january 6th the other having to do with classified documents and this one has been postponed indefinitely okay and the reason why is because of too many pre-trial issues that are holding up the case right it is essentially too early this judge is arguing to go to trial because they got to work out some of these issues. And this is a big deal, a huge blow to Democrats because this is yet again another delay, okay? Because we know that the whole point of these trials, of these cases, is a political persecution. So they're trying to have this uh, happen, Trump get convicted before the election because they want to use this to sway the outcome of the election. That's the whole point, right? That's the whole point. So the clock is ticking and it seems as if uh, this case uh, is not going to go to trial before the election, just like it seems like the January 6th case is not going to go to trial before the election because the Supreme Court <laughs> is purposely slow walking that case, okay? And then you have the case out in Fulton County led by Fannie Pack Willis in which Trump attempted to have woke DA Fannie Pack Willis removed because uh, she was allowing Nathan Wade to put his tartar sauce on her fish cake, right? So... <laughs> Put his tartar sauce on, on her fish cake. Unbelievable. And we need to find that mattress. Where is that mattress? I'm telling you, me and, me and my patriots, we're going to go find that mattress now, Fanny. We're going to go find that mattress. You didn't, you got, and I know you got a couple mattresses, but there's one particular mass, mattress with, and it's a lot of money in it. Mm. So um, that represented a conflict of interest. And uh, although he could not get Fanny Pack removed, he, they successfully got Nathan Wade removed. And now they're challenging that ruling from the cowardly judge that refused to force Fanny Willis uh, to remove herself from the case, okay? Which probably would have destroyed the case all together. But regardless, again, he can challenge it, which is further delaying the start of that trial. So it looks like the trials that really matter, the cases that really matter, aren't going to start before the election, which is a masterful job, right, by the Trump team, okay, because they've essentially delayed everything that they can. Again, they didn't get all of them, okay, they didn't get the Alvin Bragg one in regards to the delay, but that's okay, because again, nobody gives a damn about that one, right? So let's read about even this uh, decision here from the judge, and then we're going to watch uh, a clip of CNN melting down and this is not gonna be the last video I make about this because there's no doubt in my mind that the cackling hens are gonna be melting down about it uh, MSNBC I was <laughs> searching for a clip of their reaction again it's so bad they're probably so upset <laughs> they're not ready to react to it yet okay because the outrage is just gonna be incredible it really is okay I'm so ready to see these people who whine and cry over this okay <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna say this judge is a white supremacist that's what they're gonna say they're gonna say all types of stuff about her they're gonna say she's not really a woman <laughs> say all types of crazy stuff so let's uh read here federal judge Ayeen cannon postponed former president donald trump's federal trial in florida where he has been charged with retaining classified documents after leaving the white house in a ruling on tuesday <laughs> cannon a trump appointee said setting a trial date at this point would be imprudent because there are too many pre-trial issues with standing the court also determines that finalization of a trial date at this juncture before resolution of the myriad of interconnected pretrial and classified information procedure act issues remaining and forthcoming would be imprudent and inconsistent with the court's duty to fully and fairly consider the various pending pretrial motions before the court, critical CIPA issues, and additional 
pre-trial and trial uh, preparations necessary to present the case to a jury. The court uh, therefore vacates the current May 20th, 2024 trial date and associated calendar call to be reset by separate order following resolution of the matter before the court consistent with defendant's right to due process and the public's interest in a fair and efficient administration of justice. Okay, so basically the Trump team has used the same strategy that they've used in all the other cases to try to get them delayed in the sense that they're just throwing anything at the wall to see what sticks in regards to motions to dismiss. Now, in this case, this judge, it's not that she's not dismissing Trump's motions to dismiss. She is, she's just slow walking it, right? She's just doing it in a way that's annoying the hell out of the liberal media and Jack Smith because it's delaying the trial, right? So she's basically, again, not moving as fast as they would like her to move in order to get the trial started and she's thoroughly considering the motions that the trump team is bringing to try to have the case dismissed instead of dismissing the motions off the cuff right this is what the liberal media democrats and jack smith want her to do right they're mad at her for not trying to expedite the trial so that it happens before the election right this is what they're trying to do i mean jack smith tried to do that uh in his other case okay he tried to expedite it um, and, and this is what they're all doing. Fannie Willis tried to expedite her case. Like, this is what they're all doing, okay? They're all acting uh, as a part of a conspiracy, right, against the President of the United States. Again, this is Rico right in front of your face. It really is, mm. okay? They're all colluding, okay, to try to get the President convicted before the election. This is what they're trying to do. Special Counsel Jack Smith alleges Trump willingly retained classified documents at the leaving office and obstructed the federal government's efforts to retrieve them. The former president has pleaded not guilty. Cannon's handling of the case has been heavily scrutinized in September 2022. The Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled Cannon abused her discretion when she ordered an independent review of the documents that were seized. Meanwhile, some legal analysts have slammed her for making, quote, baffling and unhinged decisions, a.k.a. not trying to rush the trial, okay? Actually trying to thoroughly review the case right and to make sure everything is done right okay they're upset with her doing her job as a judge to the point where they want to try to get her removed because she's refusing to do their bidding again it's just so funny how that works okay you have these federal judges that happen to be appointed by trump uh and again this happened really because of mitch mcconnell to be quite honest with you uh when he basically blocked obama from filling all of those federal court seats uh, when Obama was in office, right, he focused heavily on that, including the Supreme Court. Trump gets in office and he fills all these seats with conservative judges. And now this is paying off, right? It's paying off in the sense that these judges that he appointed essentially are the only institution that we have that currently is saving our republic, right? They're stopping the Democrats from overthrowing our republic because that is what Democrats are trying to do. They're trying to overthrow our republic and the Supreme Court is standing in the way. Uh, conservative federal judges are standing in the way. Uh, it seems like the judicial system is the only uh, branch of government left uh, with some integrity. Okay, I'm just saying. So let's uh, get into this reaction here from CNN. Okay, uh, clearly they're gonna be having a meltdown over this. They don't <laughs> like the fact that this judge is doing her job. Okay, thoroughly. But let's get into it. Ty, you've been uh, clear with your your feelings of how Judge Cannon has handled this case, but this is. This is direct. This isn't just she's, you know, by by having an unrealistic trial date on the calendar, we know she's not really putting one on. This is direct. Like, it's it's over. It's not happening. What's your reaction to it? Well, I think you're absolutely right, Aaron. Um, this is direct. This is clear. All she's really done today, though, is make official what everybody, including Jack Smith, already knew, which was she had no intention of getting this case to trial, and she wasn't competent to get this case to trial. She talks about her duty to fully and fairly consider the pending motions. She's had months uh, to do that and uh, did very little. She's had um, she's ruled on only three of the 12 motions to dismiss, um, all of which could have been easily resolved by now. According to you, right? According to you. I get these people mad. Listen to them talk. This dude is literally saying, well, I'm mad that she's not moving as fast as I want her to move. <laughs> right? That's what they're upset about. That's what they're upset about. <laughs> and they're saying that the judge is incompetent, incompetent for taking her time to make sure this is done correctly. We're talking about charging the former president of the United States here. OK, you, you would think that, hey, yeah, you should take your time and make sure that everything is done correctly before going to trial, because there's a lot that's at stake here. OK, 
But no, 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 no. According to these people, no, no, no. You need to rush. You need to do sloppy work, right? And to just, you know, hurry up and get this over with before the election. And look, here's the thing. If you see what's happening with this Alvin Bragg case, just how much of a shit show it has been with Trump being subjected to gag order after gag order after gag order because he's defending himself against people who are attacking him, right, and accusing him of falsehoods. Like we tell you, Trump just bring fifty thousand dollars every single week to just bring fifty thousand dollars, you know. And if we got to go to jail, we're really gonna patriots. We might as well just start celebrating soon. They soon that mugshot release. Soon as that mugshot release, we're celebrating. Everybody's invited over. <laughs> yeah, everybody. Cold one's on me. Cold one's on me. Yes, indeed, baby. We're cracking open the cold one. He's being subjected to possibly being thrown in jail. While also trying to campaign for president. This should not be happening. It should not be happening before the election. None of these trials should happen before the election. Let the American people decide yep. whether or not they want Trump to be president. And then whatever happens after that happens. But it should not happen before the election. In fact, honestly, it shouldn't happen at all. Let's keep it 100. <laughs> shouldn't be happening at all, right? Shouldn't be happening at all. Trump should not be standing trial, right? Shouldn't be happening at all. But, but it definitely does not need to happen. The trials in and of themselves do not need to happen before the election. Uh, she ignored Jack Smith's, um, set forth, Jack Smith set forth a detailed um, hearing and pleading uh, schedule for the SEPA issues, the Classified Intelligence uh, um, uh, Materials, Procedures Act materials, um, uh, which she wholly ignored and uh, did not uh, act on until today uh, when she scheduled uh, two of the necessary hearings uh, on that for the first time. Uh, so, you know, this is something that um, I, th I think it was always her objective, frankly, to uh, prevent this from going to trial. Uh, but also, I think, it sh you know, her, her inability, wholesale inability so, uh, to do it was uh, made palpable. So, so, Ty, is this bias or is it just utter incompetence? Well, oh, it can't be anything but bias or utter incompetence, right? This is what they're saying. Oh, but when it comes to Judge Merchant, when it comes to uh, the other deranged judge that was handling the uh, Trump uh, business fraud case, the Letitia James case, when it comes to those, oh, well, you know, those judges are totally fair and honest. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to this judge, though, oh, this judge must be biased or incompetent, right? You see how these people work? When the Supreme Court <laughs> decides that, again, they're not going to let Democrats overthrow our republic. Oh, the Supreme Court, uh, their threat to democracy. They're biased, <laughs> right? They're in the bag for Trump. We should overthrow the Supreme Court, pack the Supreme Court, charge Clarence Thomas, throw him in prison. <laughs> Clarence Thomas is a true patriot, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so again, when the judges are ruling in their direction, oh well, it's totally fine, totally legit. When the judges are not doing so, even though she's not dismissing the case, she's she's gonna allow the case to move forward. It's just not gonna happen before the election. It's not gonna happen when they want it to happen. Okay, just like the Supreme Court, they're not going to grant Trump full immunity or the president full immunity. They're not gonna do that, right? So they're not actually really gonna side with the president. They're just not going to allow it. In, in regards to the trial to happen before the election. And again, these people are upset about it. They cry. <laughs> the judges are biased. <laughs> They're incompetent. <laughs> I think I once said that it's, to be fair to her, she may merely be incompetent. But no, this is a combination of bias and incompetence. I mean, for example, she scheduled a hearing on uh, today in this order on the issue of, you know, uh, who constitutes Trump's trial team, or not Trump's, but the Justice Department's trial team here, the special counsel's trial team. Uh, because of Trump's frivolous allegations that it includes a sweeping number of government officials. Now, that's, that's a frivolous motion. No other judge would actually have a hearing on that, uh, but she has scheduled one. Uh, the things that she has done here are really inexplicable, um, and uh, it's tragic. Uh, she talks about the pub, you know, having honored the public's interest in the administration of justice by postponing the trial. You know, she has not honored the public's interest uh, you know, for one day in this case, as she has sat in her office, uh, apparently paralyzed from uh, ruling on 
easily resolvable motions. And uh, sadly, this case will not go to trial, notwithstanding the fact that it's one of the most important cases in history and uh, could have easily been tried uh, in advance of the election. Yes, yeah, certainly. I mean, the, the, the fact pattern on that one, um, it, very clear, right? This is not like something like January 6th, where there, there are a lot of um, precedent and other issues to consider. Does Jack Smith have any recourse on this, or is this just, uh, you know, case closed? So I don't believe he does. Um, Notice how they're pretending that the case has been dismissed. The case has not been <laughs> dismissed, right? They're, they're, oh, it's over. It's over now. Well, no, no, no. It's not over. It's just that it's not happening before the election. <laughs> but to them, it might as well be over. <laughs> Which tells you everything you need to know about what the intentions are. All of this is about getting Trump convicted before the election. That's what it's about. They're pretending like it's, all, it's not over. She's just saying, well, listen, we're just going to suspend it until we work out these uh these these details right we got to work out these matters that doesn't mean that the case is dismissed those are two different things we just don't have a date when it's gonna start yet that's it oh it's over it's over <laughs> uh -huh. scheduling is an area traditionally um where judges have wide latitude i don't think he would have the ability to get her um removed on this uh, or overruled on this uh, i do think <laughs> You know, she is not capable of ruling intelligently or fairly on most of the motions that uh, will be pending and certainly the classified Boy. information issues. Uh, and I think at some point she will be removed in advance of trial. But keep in mind, this case now can't go to trial until mid to late 2025. And um, it won't go to trial if Trump is elected. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Woo! Let's go! We're from the crack open a cold one in November, man. I hope y'all are ready, man. I hope y'all are ready. We're gonna get that old truck running and we're gonna crack open the cold one. Yes indeed, man. Happy Mother's Day. Hope y'all have an amazing weekend. Take care of y'all self. And again, man, we're bringing amazing updates every single day, man. Waking a lot of people up, man, whether you like it or not. You know, even the never Trumpers, man. Y'all should see the comment section. You know, people that are, are that were even the Dems in the comment section, you know, see what's going on. And they're and now they're voting for Trump. Oh boy, this is getting man, this is getting spicier and spicier every single week, y'all. Falling apart in real time. The collapsing where wins left and right for, for Trump. Try to make this man broke and in jail. And what? He walks down the street. He does a jumping jack. He breathes. He makes thousands, millions of dollars. And just let that other mug shot come out. Boy, we're going to celebrate early. I love you guys, man. Y'all take care of yourself. I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace and love, y'all.